terrible. Now, Colonel Hessler is a pretty unpleasant character. Did you have any difficulty finding sympathy for him as a man? Well, I, I'm not so sure he is so unpleasant, and I'm not so sure. I mean, I speak as one, uh, as a novelist as well, whose uh, books the Germans refuse to publish. So I, I find it very funny that I should play this uh, German, who I find really rather admirable in many ways. I'm not so sure that in England, particularly, he won't emerge as the hero. You know, I mean, the Americans seem genteel in comparison. I, I'm not so sure he isn't the hero of the picture. Colonel Hessler is a man who lived for action, and William the Conqueror is a man of action. I know you're going to make a film about him very shortly. How would you describe yourself as a man of action, a dreamer, a thinker, a romantic? Oh, both, I think. Uh, I'm very romantic, but I'm also uh, quite practical, and I'm full of physical energy. Um, a dreamer, yes, I am a bit of a, I, I am a, bit of a dreamer, but, um, I mean, I, I'm a kind of blend of these things. Now, you're the only English-speaking actor to play a German in the film, the... Other Germans are real Germans. Did you find any resentment? Uh, that's an interesting thing. Uh, um, I think that perhaps they would uh, themselves have liked another German to be playing the part. And I think that they would give a sort of um, wry smile at the commercial necessity of, of, of having an Englishman in this case. But uh, what happened was very funny is that uh, at first I was too German and they were too English. And uh, we had, I had to um, revoice a lot of my scenes because the German accent that I was using, which I'd studied for months arduously, it was a Prussian one, and it was much more um, a German than any of the Germans. And uh, so then I cut down, and that seems to work. I don't well, know. What do you think? I'd certainly 